Hey, I'm Jay Thomas. Welcome to this week's edition of Hot Rod Hangout. We're looking at what's new at Rod's Hot Rods, Faithful Avenue, of course. And I'm back from Italy. Lots new. Oh yeah, lots new to check out I was here. gone and then you were gone and then I was gone. Yeah, I know. It's like we're finally catching up around here. I just got back yesterday. Uh-huh. We bought some new stuff. We saw, we got some new stuff to check out today. And by the way, if you didn't see them, um, I didn't, I couldn't take my microphones with me, but I was able to do some videos uh, in the Ferrari and Lamborghini factories and museums in Italy. So check out those videos on Hot Rod Hangout, the Italian special. Uh, it's kind of kind of fun. I haven't even watched them yet. Have you not? I haven't had time. I I'm like sorry. walked past all these historic Ferraris and Lambos. I know, I and want to watch it. Everything. It's so cool. I'm like 10 behind on our own to watch. Man, I like, yeah, even like Enzo's own collection. It was like, it was, it was crazy. It'd be like a, it'd be like a uh, Yellowstone one night, just watch them all. Yeah. Just binge. 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 You got to binge the them. The hot rod hangout. There you go. Okay. So we got eight vehicles to look at today and some really exciting stuff is coming down the pipe that yeah, one, two, three, is sort four, of five, just six, like nine. not ready to go yet, but it'll be, it'll be right away. Six of so. 14 we got to talk about. I know. I know. It's exciting. So let's, Holy. let's take it off. And then we should go down that way first. Or this one? I don't know. What do you think? Sure. Right well, here? Whatever. Or do you want to start down the part? Let's start down there. It's a little easier. Okay. All right. Let's go that way. I can't believe this is still here with a beautiful brown interior yeah. in it. We're starting with an awesome Chevy truck. Yeah, it was a 1996 Chevy um, short box. Actually, I drove this home from Edmonton on Tuesday. Yeah. So my trip to Red Deer last weekend, I sold a few, I bought a few. Yep. Went up to Edmonton uh, for a couple more days. I thought we were gonna have a little holiday. My wife didn't think it was a holiday. <laughs> Bought some more cars, traded some cars, sold another car, and I wound up driving this home, so I made my wife drive the truck and trailer with another unit in the trailer. That was a career-limiting move, hey? Yeah, we're, we're still talking. That's good. That's yeah. good. All right. She, <laughs> she must love you. Um, this is a really cool color. First, you're thinking in the video, it's black. Nope, it's not. Let me get you in here. It's not even gray. It's not even gray. It's actually got this brown tone to it, so it's really dark like black dark gray but then it has like a brown metallic in it so this is a color off of the brand new chevy trucks right it's an option on the brand new chevys so you can kind of see when i go in the reflection it comes off a little bit black a little bit gray but outside it is, looks more brown oh, gray. Like yeah. it's a gorgeous color like and uh the the wheels are awesome this truck is just a complete 10. i can't even describe to you how nice the paint is look at how glossy and flawless the paint is like there isn't a run there is an orange peel it's just so this was a this liquid. was a total complete color change so even under the hood on the like it's everywhere the door jams inside the box look at this where it's painted painted the mirrors look at the inside of the box yeah so, even the colors oh, there you can there you go you can really see the brown kind of back here um it's awesome so obviously the new paint and body uh obviously it's lowered Wheels yep. and tires, brand new exhaust. It sounds pretty wicked. I think it's it does. got a slow master exhaust on it. Yep. But the interior, this is a full, full low truck. It is. Power seat, like it's got everything. All the, the oh. cruise control works, it blows cold AC. Like yep. it's just a pleasure to actually drive this thing. It is. Let's pop under the hood real quick. Cause it's, it's such a, Darby was here and he, out of all the stuff that we had, this is the one that he thought was. He was most excited about. Oh yeah. Really? Like look how oh. Holy. There's some headers on there. Yep. Yeah, that's clean. Wow. Just a tidy, clean truck. Yeah, is it ever. And when I, I drove it back with the cruise on, I had the cruise set at 118, which is well below the 120 limit that the cops say that you can be with. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it drove like- And you only used flawless. like what? Three quarters of a tank to get yeah. from Edmonton all the way back to Saskatoon? It was 92 bucks to fill it in Edmonton and it only used three quarters of a tank. Yeah. Like, what is that? That's gonna be what, 65, 70 bucks? Yeah. Look, even, look at how well it's painted under here. We were talking about even the paint comes over the fenders right to the edge. Where we're and then there's to, a yeah. really nice black everywhere else, just like it should be. Like it's, it's that well done. Mm -hmm. For a color change, not that many people go that far on a color change. The jams are perfectly painted the whole way around. And you know what? I actually like the brown with the red interior. Yeah, it works, right? It works. It's like kind of, you know, typical. GM interior. We got one knob we got to find off the stereo. That's it. Console. Console, armrest. 
works, not broken. For your cassette tapes? Cassette, oh yeah, it was cassettes, look at that. Or is that CDs? I can't, no, it's cassettes. Oh, You're CDs right. go here. Oh yeah, CDs go there. There's only a CD player in it. Yeah, Factory I'm stereo. Missing the one knob. I gotta get one knob, big deal. Yeah. Look at even the wheel. Even the wheel's in nice shape. A lot of yeah. times those, those leather wheels kinda really got wrecked. Let's but I had honest. a chance, obviously, I had six hours to figure out if everything worked, and it does. Look how nice, the, this must be new carpet. I don't think so. Really? Even like the headliner. God, it's perfect. Even like the headliner is good, like the, these headliners are always bad in here. Yeah, they're always kind of get, gonna get gross. Yeah. So either, either a lot of stuff's been replaced properly, or it's been that well loved over the years, but either yeah. way. Nice truck. It's a very nice truck. Doors close perfect, the stance is nice, wheels don't rub. We've had a removal of the badges, so it's kind of trimmed down a little bit. I said this to you before, that if it was would have been me doing this truck, I would have put a roll pan back here. It's got its factory chrome bumpers. I don't mind the front one, I would have rolled the back. Yeah, see, I think for me, the trend now with these trucks, it was always the roll pan and custom. I kind of like keeping the bumpers on now. Do you? Yeah. yeah. And one truck that we're going to see next week, um, well, I'm calling it my new shop truck that I'm driving. Yeah, I drove it all yeah. day yesterday, it's wicked. But it has, that truck, again, it's got all the original chrome on it. But it's got it all it. of its stainless trim, so it really yeah. suits it. Yeah, it does. Different, but we'll, we'll, that's next week. That's next week, okay. Let's go to a returnee. The, this. the new truck we're gonna talk about might have a, a whistle sound to it. But. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, that's right. This is a returnee. This is one that I, I was happy to get. Oh, this, this is, this is again, look at the paint. The color is it feels incredible. like glass, yep. Ruby red is what we call it, I don't know. Candy ruby red. Yeah, it's a very candied red. 69 Impala. But very nice. This is one we had it up on the hoist for a while. And this is finished upside, underside, engine yep. bay. Everything. Everything is like it looks like new everywhere you look. Yeah, it Interior, does. It doesn't matter where you look. This is a 327 car, so it's not a big block, but it's a rebuilt engine. So it's a really healthy, you know, great running vehicle. Yeah, well, everything's rebuilt in this car. That's right. The whole thing is restored. It's a restored interior, new car. Beautiful carpet, car. Like it's a new car. It's like going for a ride with your mom and dad back in 1969 in their Impala. And it, you, can't, you can't help but love the curved rear glass. You know, like that's yeah. such a cool feature of this car. That's on a custom coupe though. Because they didn't always right, have that. That's they right. All, all models that's never right. had that. You can rent the trunk out to a family of four for the weekend. It's humongous. Go to the drive-in theater. Drive-in the drive theater, people. yeah. It's beautiful. I, uh, yeah, it's uh, some extra gauges hanging below just to keep your eyes yep. on eyes on the prize and uh, the radio fits perfectly, but it's it is a, a more one. modern, yep. you know, electric version, uh, which is nice. But that gives you Bluetooth and, you know, a better but sounding stereo. Red on red on red on red on yeah, red. Yeah, it's just all the red, all the red. Yeah, Wheels I'm, are good. One of my favorite combinations is red on red or a blue on blue. Like I like the, the different interiors. Yeah, that's right. Like I, I'm the same way though. Blue on blue and I like the, I like the one across with the brown interior yeah. and a blue truck. I like the red on red. I dig that. This too. has got blue on blue. There's red in this truck. Brown you know, and red and I I. Uh, or then you go black on black. Well, black on black is no, it's, okay. It's safe. It is, but you know what? I've had enough black interiors. I love that there's some color. There's some you, options. And there. when you go to old stuff, you had you had some color. Some of the new, like the new Lincolns and all that, like the they got some pretty wicked. They're interiors. starting. Oh, They're yeah. starting. It's starting to come around. But you know, yeah. the last ten years, new cars have been black interiors yeah. almost exclusively. So no more options now, anyway. But hey, we got uh, we got some bright colors. Speaking of which, we never looked at underneath the hood. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. We'll I know we got eight to go. We got We got We got to move here. Yeah, look at that. Just hey. tidy. Just tidy, lots of like billet and you know, it's it's nice. Just cool. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. Power brakes, power steering. Matching red plug, where's six horsepower? That's it, only six? Well, because they're matching. Okay. If they're not matching, then they're nine. Look at this. Look Panther at pink. this. Panther pink. That's kind of a fun one. We got uh, the 76 Dart Sport. Now we told the story about the um, the Dart, because in the Plymouth, this is still called a duster, okay? Right. So in the Dodge, in uh, 71, 72, they had the Demon. Then yes. they had to quit making the Demon for reasons we already talked about. Yeah, because there was a big pushback on the name. Yep. So then 73, this is the identical car as the Demon. In 73, they went to the Dart Sport. Aha. Uh -huh. The Dart's a different car. The Dart's a different Dart's car. Dart's like a swinger. Like the Dart, like that scamp, that's, that's just the Dart. Well, yeah, that's a Plymouth scamp, but the Dart would be the same. Right, this Dart is different. Dart Sport is the same as a 
duster. And it's, you know, the roof line is different. It is. The it's roof a line car. on that, if I look at that, I'll just zoom in there, right? That's got the curved back window. And it's got a, just a, a it's, it's C pillar is just sort of a, at a slant. Well, same as a blue one. Yeah, same it's as a blue a one there. That's just a dart. That's just a dart. But a dart sports a duster. It's got this cool curve in it. Yep. And this one's got like the, you know, flat black roof with the hood to match. A 360, is that what they would have had? Yep. Okay. This is, I believe this is the numbers matching motor to the car. So 340 was an earlier motor, it became a 360? Yep. Is that what happened? Yep. Okay. To think the last year for the 340, I believe was 73. And it became a 72 or 73, then, then it, it went to 360. 360. Okay, yeah. So like in a 74 Cuda, like, like our Cuda there, that's a 360. Yes. Because the 340 was never offered in that car. Right, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Anyways, this is cool. It's a, it's a neat color combination. Black, there's sort of some gray involved. Like the, some of the trim, yeah. They call the this trim. the bird's beak. So in, uh, in the dusters, um, dark sports, whatever, the 70 to 72 was the more popular year because it didn't have this bird's beak. Right. 73 the, and, and higher, that's what they call this. Totally. It's a little different front end. Kind of, it's um, kind of the era though. That's yep. what the 70s they were doing. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's well done. We got- Isn't it ever? I got pictures of this where like, there's brand new quarters on it. I think there's inners, outers. The whole body was stripped right down and done. And this, the engine was out, the engine bay was all painted and done. Like you can see that. Yeah, totally. So it was all done nice. It sounds really well. It sounds good. Now, we are, inside we are going to get some seat work done. So don't get too excited when you see some issues going on with the seats. That's going to be changing. Hey, look, there's pink fuzzy dice to go with the rest of it. That's awesome. But yeah, buckets console. Buckets console. An A track that works. An A track that works. No way. Actually works. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Yeah, but it's just a, a fun little, fun little dart sport. Rear defrost. That's an accessory. That's an yeah. option right there. Mm -hmm. That's hanging back there. We actually have the, the lines and the windows in this one. So are the. The uh, awesome uh, speakers in the back. Yeah, yeah. The, there's other there, other Craig's, but I don't think so. There's, you know what? I think they're like like a mid range because there is a woofer in here, and I think this guy's got sort of the the Ooh. second set. I think it's like woofers and tweeters. That's fancy. That's fancy stuff. Yeah, this is cool. This okay, is we cool. lost to look at here. Let's keep going. Okay, Lap which on. which end? They're all kind of in the middle. There we go. Which end you want to go for? Ah, you picked it today. Okay, we're going over here. Check out our golf carts. This, this is uh, another one that I just brought back. I'm really proud of you. You know, we got some really sweet stuff from the auction. Most of the stuff that I got back um, is like basically showroom ready. Yep. So that's a change from last time. <laughs> so. <laughs> that's a change from last time. This is an, what is 77? 77. So the identical truck as our burgundy one, just in a different level of yeah. done, but. Yeah, the other one is, is a little more original. Uh, we always get pairs and triplets of things around here. And this is an example. It is awesome. Now, there's a really cool story with this truck, right? Yeah, well, how we're, um, this was a one family owned truck and I was, I was reading off the actual sheet here. So they're claiming this to be low, original low mileage, 16,537 miles. Can you believe that? And uh, it was stored away for 20 years. So this is a one family owned since it was brand new. Like, look at how nice the interior is. And it's a, a real, Buckets console. Buckets console truck. And I'm going to jump in here. So high, fairly high optioned. Well, no, no, it's actually, to be honest, it's actually it really? low optioned. Really? It's got a factory tack and a gauge and your full gauge. And the full motor. gauges. Okay. That's There's no power locks, no power windows, no air conditioning. There is an FM radio, which was an, an extra, but yes, factory tack, which is in there, right? So we, Darby was here. We had a good look at this truck and underneath and crawling all over it. This is like original metal original rockers, original cab corners, nothing's been touched. So the, the mileage, like we have no way of proving because we weren't there how many years ago to know if it's totally. actually 16 or 15. Or yeah, 16, and, unless miles. we got some paperwork that shows us, you know, dates with the yeah. mileage recorded, but this is, but this is the uh, original dash. It's well, not just a cap. They, and it's like, they, they always rot it out in here. You can poke your fingers through that. They always went bad it's in and perfect cracked. shape. It is in perfect shape. Wow. The, and the, panels are all original metal yep. it's now uh, the only two things that they did and i don't i don't agree with but it was like a barn fine they took the body they, this is a frame off restoration yeah and this was uh originally a black truck i believe oh yeah and they added the shifter on the floor 
So yeah, I, I don't exactly love that. This, this was a, a column column shift so it's a choice that they made you could go back to that to be like original you could yeah um, i, I would have i would have that but i didn't build it so we got to deal with what we're but you having. know what all things considered considering that it's like i say not black it is a very beautiful paint job it's again beautiful yeah yeah and how the doors close i know that's like brand new that's incredible look in here now we've got one of the original wheels just to show just to show we got the whole set yeah um but we we actually which is surprising for you but you actually kind of dig those more than what's on here. I don't like the ones that are on it personally, but some people may do, but which is fine. Yep. Uh, a, little, yeah. a little bit too modern for my taste on this truck, but I think these would look better on it, like the factory ones. Yep. So. Some like slightly aftermarket stuff, right? These are black instead of just being red. Yeah, and the tailpipe come, tailpipe a, little further, come like the, a little further, but they're they're well done, handsome. The painted black and the, like the Chevrolet is nice. Yep. So a few like a few custom touches to an otherwise pretty uh, stock truck. Yeah, but it's not is, it's not ride height. The frame hasn't is been all changed. painted. Like it's it's a it was a, a frame off done. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's very nice. So a cool seventy six got a cool front end. Seventy seven, sorry. Yeah, six is the same. And and they like like a lot of people are after the the round headlight look. Yep. You know, it's it's a good looking truck. It's a classic looking Chevy truck. So yeah, good looking. Very truck. nice. Very nice. Okay, from one to another. Go to another classic Chevy truck. And this is awesome. This is a very different... Uh, <laughs> the banana boat is here. 1972 Chevy Super Cheyenne. So do you, do you know what makes it? A, I don't know. I'm, well, like, do you know what makes it that? I think the Super is just like a trim level, right? So you get... Like that's where you get like your extra wood, your wood grain. So you get um, like you trim. get wood grain down here. You get a mid-range belt, you know, molding in here. And two-tone. You get two-tone exterior. There's even the trim there. And this is wickedly cool. Yeah. Before we dive into here, so okay. the factory, this factory yellow truck, and it's, it's a factory green interior on yeah. a yellow truck. Yeah. So it's Can you imagine odd. that? Which is cool. Wait, and then Super Cheyenne probably gave you the wood grain in yep. here. You know, there and Cyan Super on there. And also give you like your headliner. Oh yeah, look, because because a lot of trucks didn't have a headliner at that time, right? This is like nice vinyl that matches the hound's tooth that's in here is cool. And the also it'll give you the full gauges with the tack, and <laughs> yeah. a lot of times the Super Shine has factory air conditioning. Yeah, look at this. It actually has factory AC yep. and all the duct work that that you need for it. And it blows cold. It works. That's wickedly cool. So I'm, gonna, the, I'm gonna get around the other side. All the door jams. Yep. Have not been painted like the in, like the inside of the doors. And the door jams are still the original paint. Oh, wow. That was so, really well matched. Well, that's just showing what the truck was, right? Like Totally. What do you think? This is another one. What do you think of the wheels, Rod? Would you have, like... They're all right. Like, I, it'd be really cool to me for it to have its factory wheels on back on it. On this one, yeah, being like a, a super Cheyenne. And obviously, we got a, a, a newer steering wheel. A newer steering wheel. That, again, it'd be super sweet. Because I bet you the original steering wheel, taking a guess, had some wood grain on it. I'm not sure on 72. Even in the middle? I don't know. Maybe, Maybe not. Maybe a factory tilt wheel too, right? Oh, it's factory tilt. It is. Look at that. But yeah. it has a full gauge. It does. It. Yeah, it's with the factory tack. Tack in the middle. Yeah, it's got like oil pressure, temperature. So you can see bolts. some marks on like the ashtray stuff. Like, so this, it's still, that, that's, that's the original paint still. Yeah, totally. It totally is. Wow. Like, I, you just don't find trucks that are this well preserved usually. Because so many trucks were just tools, right? Yeah. Oh, that closes. Awesome truck. Awesome truck. This is pretty well like original. You can see yeah. on the firewall the original color, but original color. Some again, we got headers on this. There's its air conditioner doing its job. Right on. Very yeah. nice. Just a nice, yeah, it's really nice truck. truck. That's again one that I don't think it's going to last very long. You don't see a super Cheyenne very often. So. Nope, not at all. This is one of my favorites. I I like this next one. Look um, at this. Look how tall it is. It's bigger than you think it is. It's crazy. These are not easy to find. This is a two-door Tahoe. They're not easy to find that aren't all rusted out and just bagged. This is a 1995 Tahoe that's been done. The, the body's been done. The paint's been done. Yep. The new motor has been done. The wheels, tires, suspension, um, new exhaust. Like it's been, the interior's about as mint as you'll ever find one. I met the owner of this. It's on consignment with us right now. And it is Sask safety. Yeah, it's a Sask. It, it's, 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 you know, it's ready to go. So 
Uh, it's not originally from the province, but it's, it is licensed in the province, so. It's got the cowl induction steel hood. Um, obviously it's not stock, but it's got a lift kit and everything on it, right? So. 37s? Is 37s. Is that yeah. what they are? Yep. And this thing, this thing drives like a regular, like a factory Tahoe going down the road. Yeah, you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't, wouldn't know think it's, that. It's got this, all this stuff on it. Like it's. You could park it on top of your neighbor's car. I just think it's cool. It is cool. The color, the colors are good too, actually. Like the, the teal is nice. Let's get this open in here. Yeah, no, it's a. Can I, can I, can I, I do this with works. one hand? I don't, I don't know, know how it works. Oh man, come on. You need some help? I guess I need a hand. I want to peek back there. Have a look in the side. I think you have to like push it forward and That's tilt right it and slide. That's yeah, one. I know, but then, then aha, uh -huh. see? Yeah. It's with one okay. hand. Okay. You're well, welcome. Yeah. Look at that. Some subs in here, some, some six by nines, amplifier. Seats in nice shape. Big windows, hey? You don't realize how much space that, yeah. that is. It's all one big window in the back. Nice. You can see this is a one-hander going back. Oh, that was two. Wow, well, kind of. Kind of. There's even a book of the whole build, all the how this was, like all this was done, all the work done to it, which is, which is pretty wild. Overhead console. It was kind of a nice, it was a nice truck. Power windows and locks and the whole bit. Look at the size of that hitch on the back of here too. Let's have a look on it. This even looks kind of tidy too. Air conditioning. Oh yeah. Right on. Factory trouble light. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah, this guy right here. Oh, that's the one that winds up. Yep. That you like pull out. I'm not going to do it because I won't get it back in, but it's like on a cord and you reel it back in. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Right on. Just tidy. That'll be fun. This is one of those ones that like you could keep as a summer toy. You could not keep as a summer toy. You know what drive I mean? Winter time. You could drive in the winter time. Why not? Looking for yeah, a cool I truck. I like this one. Yeah. That could be uh, like an all all year rounder type thing. Could be a winter driver. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I've sparked your. I don't know. Rod's There's another one I'm looking at. Rod's looking for a winter driver. So, yeah. Speaking of not winter drivers, this is like again we got two of these back to back. We actually had. I think it was when you were gone on holidays. I well, think I was here for the first one. I know, but we had them. We had them both parked end to end. Oh, really? At the, at the, both at the same time. We're talking about. Is, you're not Z seeing double. This is not the same one as we had. It, the other one had black stripes. Yeah. And slightly a different shade of blue. Very close. Right. Because when. We had, this is a 73Z. We had our 70Z here at the same time. So we had them parked end to end for a couple days before the new owner picked up the 1970. This, so this, the 70 was really nice. And this is even like, ah, uh, is this next level? Like this is really pretty nice. Really darn nice. Well, this is a total proper, like we got the thing with this one, this is a Canadian car. So we have the, uh, we have the Canada documents for this car. Oh, well, we do, eh? To yeah. prove what it is. Oh yeah, here it is. So these white stripes are super rare. I think they only made 114 when it comes down to it. Wow. Um, super rare. That's and it's the built stripe. back to the specs to what it was. Right. This is all numbers matching. Real Z28, four speed, obviously. Um, the differences are with the 73 to the 70, one is a spoiler on the back and the seats are different. Otherwise driving by, they look the same. Yeah, really. This one again, is just finished so well look how nice that is wow yeah this is a nice car i just heard from one beautiful. of our other staff members that this that there might be a hold on this car this car might be sold really yeah wow Very i like nice. the white stripes too it's something different yeah and you know what everybody goes oh well, it's a black interior so it's got a black stripes but actually white blue and black looks great i think so i think it looks awesome it gives a little bit of uh, brightness to the car too. On my the first nice car that I had, my Chevelle, I believe that was black stripes with a white interior on an orange car, 72 Chevelle. Black stripes, white interior, orange. Yeah, see, look like a tri, like a tri-color combination. Trifecta. Just, yeah. Red plug wires, your favorite. That's 11, no, nine horsepower. Nine, oh, six on the other one, but nine on this one, okay. Awesome, But this nicely done, just. Yep. Maybe there's like the right GM hoses and. Yeah, that's right. This done, like this was fully like frame off. There's no frame, subframe, but this was a complete restoration. Yeah. I believe in 2000 and 
11 or 12, I think. Oh, so actually a while ago. Wow. But, that's not, many, a, but not many miles on it. I was going to say, this hasn't been driven no. then because it doesn't look like it's been that, that long. It's like flawless paint and tires The biggest still difference new. was the horsepower ratings from 70 to 73. So 70 was 360 horsepower. This is only 300. That's when they started smogging things out, right? However, I don't think there's any smog left no, in this 74 one. 74 would have been... But, but I mean, is like when they rebuilt this, they took all that junk off. So, would there have been smog in 73? There's the start of some smog start stuff. Of it, yeah. We have to also remember, too, that 74 there was, was a full on. But. And what was the year that we went from gross horsepower to net horsepower in the ratings? What was that remember. year? Because everything was like wild. Like the horsepower ratings were crazy in the late 60s. Uh, somebody in the comment, let us know when did they yeah. change from gross to, to net? That also changed the numbers, too. So, anyway, it's a cool car. It is. It is a cool car. It's a beautiful condition, spectacular paint. The next yeah. one we're going to talk about is kind of one of my favorites in the shop right now. Okay, and so it's thank not typically my flavor. I know. Because it's bone stock original. Like I'm talking everything. Like everything. This is usually not my thing. But it's so well done that it kind of, I'm, I'm, it's growing on me. I know. Time. I know. Look at this 1955 Willie's. Willie's Wagon. Willie's Wagon. So, it's not a Jeep, it's a Willys, but it's like the grand, the, the very first Wagoneer or Grand Wagoneer yeah. that we had, which now, funny enough, um, Jeep it's, is producing. It's back again, yeah. The Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. It's flagship model, yeah. It is, it absolutely is. And when I was on a, a road trip about two months ago to Yellowstone National Park in, in the U.S., those Grand Wagoneers, which are like eight passenger SUVs, are huge. Yeah. They're everywhere because they're like an ultimate road trip vehicle, right? Yeah. So we should actually start under the hood with this, I think. You got to pull this. And then there is, I can't do it with one hand. There's a lever under there, somewhere in there. And, and this is cool. Watch what happens. I think you got to push or pull. I can't remember. Watch what happens when you pull up. Watch this. Ooh. And the prop oh. rod just goes by itself. Hmm. Like that, built in. Look at how well this is restored. Um, inline six, and I'm gonna point something out that I think is really cool. Look at what it says on there, Willie's Super Hurricane. Let me, let me zoom in there. Super Hurricane, guess what? Dodge, Ram, Jeep are calling their new inline six. The Hurricane Six. Really? So this is like a total throwback to even these days. I mean, it's not obviously a, a, a you know. Big this, horsepower. Well, this one isn't. And this is, you know, this is like an overhead valve, like a side valve, right? This is a flat, flat six, basically, right? Yeah. Like a flat eight, like an old Ford. But wow, okay. Wiring. Like, all new wiring. All but new, it, but it's the, but the original cloth wiring. This is restored back to like even the labels. Are perfect. It gets restored very well. Like yeah, I, very well. Everywhere you look, even like little things here, you put little little plastic on the end so you don't scratch the paint. Yeah, come down like perfect paint. Even on the inside, you'll 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 notice that you put some rubber pads on the seat so they don't wreck the hardwood floors. It's got inside. hardwood like floors. It, oh, we'll get we'll get in there in a second. Fantastic job doing the yeah. restoration. Locking front hubs. So like it is, it is four wheel drive. Four wheel drive, yeah. Yeah, front solid. These are these are interesting because this is all the original stuff, right? Like solid front axles on leaf springs. So, you know, it's it's the heavy duty. The neat thing stuff. about this though, like you just get in it and you start it and you drive it. Like it's it runs almost better than anything in this whole showroom, <laughs> which is odd, being how old it is and like original. And six volt. And six volt. But see if I can, see if I can, I haven't, I haven't actually done any of this stuff yet, but we'll see what we can get. You want to pull on that? It's kind of heavy. There. Look at this. We got a spare tire. There's the wood, the wood floors we're talking about. Obviously a nice cover comes with this and a few extra parts and pieces from its restoration. Really, really well done. Like, ah, oh man, I can't get over how well done this is. Yeah, I'm, the more I, I look at this thing, the more I, I start really, really liking it. I think really this it. flips. I don't know how. Look, look at us two idiots looking at this thing. Why haven't we got this far into it? Uh, little trick here. Oh yeah, little handles. Do they go down or up? Up. Up. Up, and then, I'll have to watch the up. wall here, but tailgate drops right down. Look at that. Huh. 
Time for a, like a- Picnic. Picnic in the back of this thing. I feel like Yogi Bear. <laughs> it looks like the vehicle that Yogi Bear would have gone after. Uh, down. That. And then I'll hang on to this and you push down. You gotta go your side. Oh, there's two. Okay, you got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Down that comes. Split window is pretty neat. Locks in. Oh man, this thing is just wicked. It is. When we get inside, look at the handles even. The handles are even cool how they work. I know, I know. Oh, there's a little, there's a little hidden uh, glove box down on I know, side. we'll have to go over there and look in a second. It's actually got, it's actually got a full gauge. A tack. Is it no. a tack? Or is it a speedometer? A uh, speedometer. I guess it's a speedometer. Yeah, I suppose. It's just kind of big numbers. The glove box in there, finished up. Oh, and this, shows is, this shows you what's going on here, because here we go. Um, reverse, first, second, third, and then we've got transfer case in and out, front axle drive, and then like auxiliary range. So that's where we got three. So let's see if I can get the clutch in here. I'm gonna switch hands, so I'm not left-handed. First, so reverse up there, first, second, third. And then oh, this, second, then third and down. then third's down. Yeah, sorry, this is, uh, let's look. In and out, so front axle is out that way, in, down. So you leave that for two wheel drive. And then you've got high range and low range. I think you gotta kinda get the thing to roll. It almost doesn't wanna go into, into low where we are sitting, but super cool. Yeah, that's neat. I don't know, is it cold, is it choke, is it, I'm not sure. An ashtray, pretty wild. But the same thing with, with all the, all like the book work. And like easy, it's, look, look, look at this. <laughs> There's an index for all the like the things that they've and done with this. all the bills and... The build of everything and... How everything works and yeah. oh yeah. It's pretty cool. There's a like interior light. Even like what kind of oil filter to use and oil and the whole like... That's crazy. Headliner is really cool. So Thing, you, Things that are documented this well are just so nice. So when you, this seat here, I'm gonna move this. So this lays forward and the whole thing kind of picks up and does a somersault towards the front. Well, that's and that's how you get into the back seat in here with the, well, with the hardwood. Right. Yeah, there's like little, little, yeah, bumps, little like, bumps just so it doesn't... Uh, so it doesn't hurt the hardwood. Hurt the hard hardwood there, yeah. So it's so easy how this works. I know, because it's only a two-door, right? It's only a two-door vehicle, so... But it's how this works, like this. Yeah. It's so easy. Just flips up. Man, I like this. It's cool. It's cool. There's even look look in the oh, back. All the doors close. I know. There's even armrests on the sides of the walls there, and a little a little ashtray for each person. And these side in the back right up there. Fold open too. Yep. Sliding back windows. More headroom in here than you could ask for. You wear a top hat in this thing. Like yeah, that's cool. It's cool. So I don't big, know. That's that's I'm pretty wild. Fan. I'm a big fan of this one. I think it's great. It's something that's so different, and that's what makes it so cool, I think, so. Yeah, it's the first one I've ever seen. I've, yeah, I mean, I've seen pictures of them, but here we go, we got one. That's pretty wild. Okay, let's talk about what's coming up. We got like a 30 minute video going here, so guys, uh, so okay, thanks, quick. For, thanks for watching. Okay, we got a 55 Crown Victoria. It's pink, it's pink. awesome. We got uh, my new shop truck. Uh, yeah. 76 Chevy C10 short box, big LS power, big yep. D2 Pro Charger. It's pretty wicked. Yep. We got a 63 Galaxy Ultra Custom. You gotta see this thing, Jag suspension, like it's oh, unbelievable. Man. Yeah. Uh, 57 Chevy car, one we talked about, Darby bought it, then we bought it back, and yeah, so it's ours now, that with the LS in it. Yeah. Uh, we got a 71 Roadrunner that we're building, we just got it back from paint, just did the dual exhaust on it a couple days ago, so that's being worked on. That's a numbers matching 344 speed B5 Blue, 71 Runner, with yeah. the air grabber. With the air grabber, yeah, it's gonna be wicked. Yeah, we just bought one within an hour ago. Uh, we got a 65 Corvette Roadster coming. Oh. Nassau Blue. Nice. Four speed, knockoff wheels. We got the hard tops already here on the stand. And we got a big get the car back here. Wicked. We got some cool stuff coming. It's been a long video, sorry guys. Yeah, well thanks for watching. I know we had to kind of play catch up because I was out of the country last week, but it's been a good one. Uh, if you want to see something you like, Make sure you go to rodshotrods.ca. Pictures, pricing, details there. On Saturday is our second or third last Rides at Rods. Hope to see you between 9 and 12. Bring your car on down. Come to our car show. Otherwise, catch you next time on Hot Rod Hangout.